Teen pregnancies remain a big problem for India. From 7.9% in 2015 16, the percentage of teens aged between 15 to 19 who are already mothers or have begun bearing a child has slipped only marginally to 6.8% in 2019 to 21. That's as per data collected by the National Family Health Survey. Experts agree that there are many possible solutions to this problem, one of them being better sex education in schools. But CNBC TV 18's Kiran Khatri finds out that this avenue continues to face a lot of resistance. Fifty-three thousand eight hundred and seventy-four. That's the number of cases registered under the Protection of Children from Sexual Offences Act in 2021. These cases make up 35% of the total crimes against children recorded that year. And experts believe, while it's by no means a silver bullet, one possible method of bringing down this number could start with the Indian school system itself, by making sex education an intrinsic part of the curriculum. They argue that this should start from primary classes itself. From the time a child is one, you can talk about body parts, privacy, um, safety, consent, boundaries, body autonomy, um, and you know periods and stuff like that. But to talk about sex or baby making, you can wait till the child is five or six or even seven. But they add that sex education should not stop there. And in higher classes should go beyond just AIDS awareness and the clinical explanations of menstruation and sexual intercourse, which are largely restricted to biology textbook. We could definitely look at including uh, more information around changes that's a, that are happening in their body, uh, in their mind during adolescence. Uh, of course, menstrual hygiene management, uh, nutrition, uh, consent and violence uh, co concepts that are that they are exploring as they are growing about body diversity. What is the importance of sex education is? Some schools have incorporated such subjects in their curriculum. These secondary school children in Chennai, for instance, are taught sex education in class as part of their curriculum. But schools like these are few and far between. We are uh, doing this session in a very uh, renowned public school of Delhi or in coffee branches in a pan-India even. Mid of the session, teachers have come to sessions. And child sexual session, child sexual abuse session is a very, very light session. वो बीच में है उनको लगा कि नहीं, आपको ये देना ही नहीं है. और उस स्कूल ने अपनी सभी ब्रांचेस में हम लोगों को completely ban कर दिया. One big problem experts say is that sex education as a subject is not mandated by either the centre or state governments. And even states that do want the subject included in their schools lay down restrictive conditions. Currently, a uh, particular state government, I, I don't want to tell, uh, they have reached out for a small curriculum on uh, sex education for 9th and above. And this was their, uh, you know, condition, you know, ma'am, we don't want to talk about sex, okay? So without sex, can you create a curriculum on sex education? We have to talk about sex at one point because uh, many other subjects related to sexuality health is connected to the act of sex. The HRD ministry's new national education policy released in 2020 made no mention of sex education. For this, there are two government-led initiatives, the Adolescence Education Programme by the CBSE and the School Health Programme. But a review of the curricula of these two programmes by the Population Foundation of India found that topics like violence and abuse, sexually transmitted diseases, gender identities and menstrual irregularities are inadequately covered. They also skip topics like consent and contraception. Experts also say that the need for sex education has increased with more students, both in primary and secondary classes, gaining greater online access, especially in the aftermath of the COVID lockdowns. Statistics say between the ages of uh, 8 and 10 children see some pornographic material. So parents want to know how to guide, you know, they're very frantically, they give me calls asking, you know, ma'am, I know they have seen something. I know she's watching something. I know he's going through something. I want to talk about it. My first question is, have you spoken about sex? Despite the rise in child sexual abuse cases and teenage pregnancies, there is no law in India that mandates comprehensive sexuality education. In July this year, the Kerala High Court said that it is time for state authorities to re-examine the sex education imparted in schools. It made this observation while permitting a 13-year-old rape survivor to terminate her 30-week pregnancy. But a review does not guarantee that it will be included, and experts say that this huge gap in the Indian educational system will lead to bigger problems down the line. In Mumbai, Kiran Khatri. 
Our colleague Kiran Khatri, the reporting in our latest installment of our special series, Gets 